Listen, I don't know what the devil is trying to throw your way, but it's not going to be like anything you've ever experienced. Listen, you might try to understand it, but it's going to come at the least expected time. Listen, I know you want answers as to why and how and all the details, but we just need to allow God to be God and let him cook. Listen, it's your heart that he's after and you don't have to please him because he's already accepted you. Listen, he knew that you'd be struggling in that area. And honestly, honestly, if we didn't have a limp in one area or another, why would we need him in the first place? So as we go into this next week, take some time today to breathe and regain your composure. Actually, wait, before we go any further, come here, come here. Listen, you got this. I know it doesn't make sense right now. And I know, I know you really wanted it to work. But God has something so much better for you. He has something so much better for you. And I know it's easy for me to sit here and say that, but I'm serious. God is literally going to make it all make sense soon. You know, us as humans, and if you're anything like me, naturally, we want it all to add up and we want it to happen just the way that we want it to. But all of that, yes, everything back there is playing into that story that God is writing about your life. So you've just got to let him keep writing and you've just got to let him keep working. And look, God is saying to someone right here, right now, it might not make sense right now in this moment, but think about everything that you've learned through all of that. You see, now you're different. Now you are a different person than you were back there. And you know, that loneliness, that that lonely feeling that you have doesn't mean that God has left you. In fact, He will never abandon you. Listen, he knew that you would snap out of this. He knew that you would snap out of it and continue to praise him through it all. Because you are a real one. Like literally, you are a real one. That's why you can't give in to that thought of quitting. And listen, I'm not going to let you quit. As long as I'm here, as long as I'm here, I'm going to make sure you understand your value in Christ. Zephaniah 317 says it like this. The Lord, your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. So right here, take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath because it's all going to be okay. Because God knows that all of this is going to produce the purpose he has for you. He is literally trying to build your confidence back. You know, there's a flip side to that. Sometimes our pride is what creates the biggest mess. But you should never be so hard on yourself that you feel like it would be better to quit. Because you've got people relying on you. You've got people that are counting on you. And listen, if you need to cry, just let it all out. Because it's okay, because the mighty one, the mighty one is going to bring you to a place of safety. And that's why he put this video on your screen to remind you of your worth. There's no reason to believe those lies anymore. Because the enemy wants you to feel like he does, condemned. But guess what? Guess what? You, yes, you right there, are a child of God, a friend of Yeshua, more than a conqueror, and accepted by God. Romans 8.34 says it like this. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who was raised? Who is at the right hand of God? Who indeed is interceding for us? So don't allow what happened to dictate your days any longer. I know it's easy to slip back into overthinking and fall into that perpetual cycle of I should have said this and I should have said that and what if this and what if that. But right now I speak peace into that storm in your mind and I just pray peace over the rest of your day today. I don't know who this message is for and I don't know why God is putting this on my heart. But once you see the complexity of how God uses it all, you will understand why all of that had to happen. 
Because this too is a part of the bigger story that God is writing about you. Just like you made it through all of that back there, you will also make it through this as well. Listen, you have an inheritance and an inheritance as a child of God in the kingdom. And I know it becomes so easy to get so caught up in what happened or what might happen that we forget that all of this is a part of the process. Psalm 139, 16 makes this point. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. Just how quickly things changed before, they can also flip completely around as well. And you know exactly what I'm talking about here. So allow God to do what he's going to do through this situation and understand he sees and knows, he sees and knows what he has for you is going to be so much bigger than you can even dream. Literally, your mind won't even be able to fathom how good it's about to get for you. So let this video be confirmation to you to understand that God sees you. He's seen all those tears. He's seen all those nights that you laid awake worried. 1 Samuel 16, 7 points us to this. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. So he knows how much you love. And listen, don't ever lose that love. Don't ever give up on that. I know you got burned, but keep loving. Keep being yourself because God wants to restore you. Because God wants to restore you. And that might be why he had to get the very thing that was draining you out of your life. You know, think about the man with the shriveled hand. He thought he was just going into the synagogue like every other day. And I'm sure this man felt like there was no way that things were going to change. I mean, he had no choice but to accept the fact that this is just how it is. You know, I couldn't imagine how it must have felt to actually have a withered hand. But you know what? I love this because right here, one day, everything would change. His entire life of suffering would change into the greatest story of restoration. So each moment in his life led him to his restoration. And it says that it was nothing like anyone had ever seen before. And my favorite part is that Jesus did this right in the face of his enemies. You know, he did it right in the face of the Pharisees. Look, check this out in Mark 3, 5. And he looked around at them with anger, grieved at their hardness of heart and said to the man, stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out and his hand was restored. Come on now. Oh, that's exciting right there. I don't know what you just accepted as the cards that you've been dealt. And I don't know what you're facing right now, but in an instant, everything can change. That is the God that we serve. That place where the enemy thought he was going to keep you is the very place that God is going to restore. So don't lose hope yet. Don't lose sight of your miracle because just like this man with the withered hand, Jesus is about to show up and when he does and when that restoration happens, it will blow everyone's mind around you. Right here at the end of this video, type this. I'm stretching my hand out by faith to the miracle worker. Listen, I love you so much. I'll see you on the next one.